So, hello everyone, and in this tutorial, I mean in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a dynamic uh, Cuban maps like uh, those Cuban maps you, uh, s you have seen in Health Life 2, in many many other old games, so it's not dynam uh, I mean, it's not uh, really dynamic real-time uh, mm, cube map it's a cube map that will be changed uh, uh, if you are in a house for instance or if you are if you are outside or if you are on the road or if you are in the underground somewhere so uh, I will show you what I mean so here I have uh, from the previous uh, lesson I have mm, five uh, cube map positions and uh, each this you know the posi each in the position has it its script script it's very simple uh, so cube map and function so uh, if uh, any object that has collider enters this area uh, so cube mm, map of each object and so no not really I mean uh, material of each object that enters this uh, a trigger area so uh, mm, this script inspects this material for cube map and if it has cube map this material uh, will be assigned uh, our cube map that is uh, set up that were you know mm, that were that was uh, the predefined in our script so here we have one two three four five five cube maps so and uh, um, let me show you this sphere so this sphere has no script absolutely no scripts at all it has uh, it has collider in my case it's sphere collider and it has material with skybox it's required and also uh, I have he I have here a car and this car is not a single mesh it has a lot of files inside I mean uh, like soup sub you know the tools yeah so just like in ZBrush so and you can see that um, we here have uh, mm, uh, some question for for a material class not I mean for render class but uh, uh, here we don't have render class just because it's not a mesh itself it's like a group and here we have our meshes really here real meshes over here and this is a group so this will uh, give me an error now so you can see here so there is no render attach it to this car but this is not problem at all it's only just just because of um, this mesh has collider but this mesh has no renderer so it's normal so I will turn this mesh off and I will now uh, show you what I did so I press enter then I uh, then I enable time I press X then I I take my sphere and you can see that uh, this cube map 
this it was it was uh, made here here so it doesn't represent real situation over here so but uh, anyway I will move this sphere and you can see that cube map is changing so this is a cube map uh, number five right number number two number two now again we move it closer number five I don't really uh, remember where exactly those uh, uh -huh, here let's move it closer number five number four let's check it up number four so yeah, yeah. Uh, number three let's check number three yeah it does work number two and number one so there are very close so now you you can see that you you are able to make your you know the dynamic uh, cube maps in your game just like in Half-Life 2 just like in, in Counter-Strike Sours or, or so it's working yeah so uh, thank you for watching and have a good time bye bye people